All right, Blues, it's the last weekend review of the season. And what a great season it's been. A bit up and down at times, but we've come out of it quite well, I think, at, at the end. Uh, don't forget to drop us a like straight away. Let us know that you've been enjoying what we've been doing this season. There's loads more to come this summer, so we're not going anywhere. Let's get started. It's uh, a day of send-offs, wasn't it, yesterday? We had, it was a good win. I think it was a bit of a nothing game, though. A 2-0 win home to Southampton. Neither team really went for it, I don't think, too much. But it was nice to end the season on six wins out of six. We couldn't have asked for much more after that game at Old Trafford. So a nice way to end the season, but what a send-off for Frank Lampard. Uh, a lot of people have been talking about it. Everyone in the fan cams yesterday was just saying what an honour it was that he ended his Premier League career at City, and it was. It was great. It was a great uh, send-off from the club as well. Real touch of class, getting uh, the kids out in Chelsea shirt, West Ham shirt and a City shirt. That was really good to see. Uh, and he'll be missed by all in the Premier League, not just by us at City. James Milner as well, we, got, we gave him a standing ovation. Uh, he clapped the crowd off. It looks, it looks pretty nailed on now that he's gone. A uh, real shame, everyone again saying yesterday, it's going to be a big loss for City and he's hard to replace. He is, he's a strange one. He's going to be really, really difficult to replace this summer. Out of all the, the bigger names that might be going, he is going to be quite difficult. Not many people can do his job of playing in all these different positions and having his James Milner work rate. The other one was Yaya Torre. We all thought when he went off yesterday, give the fans a clap, um, that he was off as well. It, it looked quite poignant that he took him off, gave him a standing ovation. But today's agents come out and said he's going nowhere. But we can't believe a word that his agent says. He's said that he's going to leave every summer. So that one's going to roll on, I think. That's going to be one of those transfer sagas that might not get f completed or have a, a proper answer to as soon as we thought. Second thing I want to talk about is the season overall. Uh, we're going to be touching on this in a lot more detail in a big season uh, review that we're going to be doing this week, so look out for that. But I just wanted to give it a rating. Everyone's saying, oh, what do you give this season out of 10? Well, I thought about it. I think it's a solid 7 out of 10. A proper James Milner score. Um, I don't think it's been fantastic. Obviously, we've not won anything like last year. We picked up the double and it was a fantastic season for City. But I don't think it's been that bad. We finished second. It looked at times that we weren't even going to finish in the top four, but we, we put that to bed after that day at Old Trafford. It, it wasn't a good day for the club, really. But we have. We, we've, we've really done quite well the last few weeks. Six wins out of six. We look back to our, our better selves. Some incredible uh, individual performances this season. Look at Sergio Aguero. 26 Premier League goals in a season where he didn't play as many games as we'd hope and that we'd like to see from him next season. Wins the Golden Boot. Joe Hart, I think, had his best season in a City shirt. He won the Golden Glove again. He, he seems to win it every single year, whether we win the league or not. So I think those two are the, the two players that have come out of this season looking their best. But then we're going to go and talk about what, where do we go from here, what happens next, and the summer. I think this is going to be the biggest summer that we've seen at City and since we really did start spending money. We've got a checkbook that is going to be used all the time. We're going to be in the middle of all of the big transfer sagas, which is dead exciting. Uh, it's going to give us loads to talk about as well, which is always good. I think we're going to see a huge squad shake-up as well. I think we're going to see, and then we're going to have to say goodbye to some players who've done really well by the club over the last few years and who've helped us transform into the Man City of today. But we are going to see some really exciting players come in. I'm not too sure who. Uh, let us know who you'd like to see. Don't forget to leave us a comment below with your rating for the season. Don't forget, we've given it a solid 7 out of 10. James Milner rating. Get your comments in below. And cheers for your support this season. This is Ricky the Hitman Hatton. Subscribe to Blue Moon Rising TV for a knockout time.